All right, everybody, how's it going? It is back day, so I'm super excited. I love back, you know that. Um, I just wanted to talk to y'all about, hmm, man, there's so many things I can talk about. Um, there's so many things in life, in faith, in anything, um, that I could talk about, um, but, you know, the the phrase, um, if you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything, um, I, I truly believe in that, um, I believe in, like, but, I want to use that kind of, but to talk about hope and believing in something, believing in a brighter future, a brighter day. So like your situation right now, like I'm a college student, I'm working a couple jobs. I'm, I mean, I'm working out, I'm working hard. I'm, but I'm not necessarily progressing as fast as I want to and working out. Um, I'm working two couple part-time jobs where I'm not making as much money as I want to, but there's a brighter future, right? There's something to believe in. There's something beyond where I'm at to believe in, right? Um, and like, I there's some like things struggling with financially because you know paying for school. Um, maybe not struggling, but like. I can't do everything I want to be doing because of money and having to work and like, um, I do have amazing opportunities that I've been blessed with, um, like to travel and to work in other countries and I will never take those things for granted because they are such a blessing, but, um, you cannot just, I mean like there is always a brighter future. There's something to believe in. There's something coming tomorrow that will be better than what you had today and finding the hope in the little things the in the smiles of people you care about in finding the hope in the answering the right question or maybe maybe you don't even so like um maybe you don't even answer the question that the teacher gives maybe you're not the one that gives the answer but you knew the answer and like knowing that um and like finding hope in those things finding joy in those things will enhance your life um you cannot just let these little things of life weigh you down because life is valuable life is precious and like if you don't have some like if your today is not as bright and as good as you want it to be um you have to find light. You have to find brightness in little things, in things that will give you hope. You have to believe in a brighter tomorrow. Um, and there's little, I mean, even like the trees, the beauty of nature around you, like finding hope, finding happiness, joy in that is something so crucial to having a complete and beneficial existence. And when you can find happiness and joy in external things in life, and now this is going to apply back to fitness. This is where I'm going to wrap it back in. If you can find happiness and joy in these things in life, it will enhance your athletic performances. Your emotions, your whatever you're going through, your joy, what you believe in, affects your ability to perform, right? Um... Like, and there's going to be people that tell you, oh yeah, you can't do that. That, Screw that. No, you can do anything. And you can believe in yourself. You can believe that you're able to do something. You can set realistic goals. You can believe that tomorrow there will be a brighter day, that you'll be stronger, that you'll be smarter, that you'll have more money, that you'll like, when you believe in that and then you pursue that. So right you you believe in a brighter tomorrow but you have to pursue your brighter tomorrow you have to work to have that brighter tomorrow because the things that are better the things that are better than what you have now they don't come easy they don't 
Like, they will go away if you don't keep working for them, if you don't do what you have to do to keep them around. Um, But you got to work. You got to grind. You got to allow yourself to be more successful. You have to believe. You cannot doubt yourself. When you doubt yourself, that is when you begin to fail and then everything around you starts to fall But when you believe in yourself, when you believe in the brighter tomorrow, then you will be more successful. And you'll be happier and you'll have a better lifestyle. And even, even if you believe in yourself and you fail, but you continue to believe in yourself, your successes will be more abundant and just incredible compared to what they had been if you succeeded the first time if you fail that is when you learn the most that is when you have the most growth but when you succeed you don't grow from success your pride grows your arrogance grows but when you fail you become more successful right because you've learned success is more attainable through failure right um and you have to pursue that and like you have to believe in yourself through those failures and never doubt yourself never give up that hope that you will succeed right because when you give up that hope you will succeed you become you become content well not even content you become miserable in your situation that you're currently in because you don't think you can get better than that situation right and when you don't think you can do better than where you're at then you fail right but that's the type of failure that's not a good failure right so like my jobs right they're not where I want to be long term but right now if I'm content where I'm at in my job and not I'm, and I'm not saying going and get, not being content and going and getting another job. I'm saying if I'm content where I'm at as a worker, if I'm like, oh yeah, I'll do what I need to do to clock in and clock out, right? Then I'm not going to be a successful worker, right? If I go in the gym and I'm like, yeah, I'll do what I need to do to stay in shape, then I'm not a successful uh, athlete, right? Um, but if I go and then if I go into relationships and I'm like, yeah, I guess I'll just maintain this friendship, then those friendships will burn off. They'll fail. But if you continue to work, you continue to grind, to push yourself, to be better, to be stronger, to be faster, to be a better person to those people you care about, to be, um, to pursue the things that you care about. And even if you pursue the things you don't care about and you know but you know are valuable like being a good worker right um being the best then when you pursue that when you have that motivation that drive the belief within yourself that you will be better nothing will ever stand in your way all right so guess who's back today it's me it's your him. favorite recurring guest yep so we're gonna kill back today Spring break was far too long without working out, especially with this chump. So we're gonna hit it. Yup. Here we go. Good work. So he just hit he just hit a hundred of that. So I'm gonna hit my one hundred of that. Just let it run. That definitely yeah. happened.
Bend over a little more. You straighten it out. There you go. Yeah, it'll be bad. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll just take that video and play it like six times in a row so it looks like you just went all the way through. Dude, six times in a row I did like 140, 38, 28, 100 and 132. <laughs> Math. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna do probably the hardest thing from the, of this workout. Um, we're gonna do three sets of pull-ups. We're gonna do maximum reps on each set, so our uh, first set will be our highest and it'll just drop from there. Um, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be really hard. Minimum of five reps per set though. And if we have to drop down and go back up, like if we can, in the last set, we can only do like two and we have to drop and go like like get back up a minute later and then do two more and then one at the end. We'll do that, but we have to do five reps for the set to be complete and five full pull-ups or chin-ups, whatever. Yeah, so that's gonna be hard, but here we go. You got one more. That was four. That last one didn't count. The last one didn't count. There you go, come on. Ah, yes sir. So, 
although we are now leaving the gym, we're not done. Um, we're gonna go pick up some, we haven't decided chicken or beef, and then um, we're gonna go to my house and we're gonna cook some food. We're gonna have a nice dinner. It'll be great. It's gonna be lovely. It'll be fantastic. Um, yeah, so here, you wanna hold this while I, while I drive? It's mad hot in here, dude. It is. I'm really, I'm really warm. Holy crap, it's 61 degrees. Yeah, it's warm. That's great. That's it's beautiful. So, a little bit about my spring break. I spend it in Massachusetts, which is the opposite of warm. Um, so yeah, 61 feels fantastic. I'm still wearing my shorts right now. I'm feeling great. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, spring break was good. Much needed break, but um, I felt kind of bad because I didn't really work out much. I mean, I did push-ups where I could, but I mean, you know how it is. You just get busy, you know, you're hanging out with family, you're traveling and stuff like that. So you just don't really make time for it. It's so I'm playing on the AC, because... <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, when I got back, I got back yesterday and went to the gym with uh, him and Noah. That was good. Just getting in the gym. Glad to be back. Um, yesterday is like, because I don't know, this video will be ended up being posted like probably Tuesday or Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was Sunday. Just so you know, like today, today is, is Monday. Monday yes. Yeah, just so y'all know. First day of classes mm -hmm. since spring break. Yeah. Sorry, I just had... No, no, no you're, you're good. So yeah, um, glad to be back. Glad to be back in the gym. Um, definitely trying to hit it hard to uh, compensate for my spring break relaxation. So yeah, that's all I got. You got anything to add, Ben? No. Well, we're gonna. I mean, we're gonna. Make, I mean, food. we're, we're gonna, gonna go video, make food, eat, all that jazz. Yeah, dude, we'll just chill. All right, great food, great workout, great day. Right? See you tomorrow. Yep, see you all tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's all, honestly, all it is. Everybody have a great day. Like, subscribe. See you back here tomorrow. Facts. <laughs> all right, so we're in the house. We're gonna make some potatoes, some chicken asparagus good hearty post-workout meal we always i feel like y'all have probably noticed we always always buy food after we work out yeah. and we're trying to get away from that just to, a save money um and then you know it's a lot healthier so mm -hmm. we'll keep you updated as we as we go all right so we currently have our um grills and our grills our potato and asparagus on the grill um just chilling, waiting for that. We'll throw the chicken on in a little bit, probably five more minutes, so I have to put the chicken on, and we'll grill that, and this is going to be just amazing. It's just gonna be so good for us. Um, Yeah, dude, it's gonna be great. Yeah, dude, it's gonna yeah, be great. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be great. Shut up. <laughs> no, I'm actually really excited, I'm so hungry. But we hit, I don't think I said this, but we hit abs af after. Yes. After we hit, <laughs> after we finished back, um, so we did them after we did the lat pull downs, um, and then uh, what did we do? We did the um, oh, we did the weighted leg lifts, or um, so like where we hold our legs at like the six inches and just add weight, and then um, I don't think I've ever put that in a workout video, but I put it on Instagram. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my Instagram. Um, yeah. I don't even know. I'm I'm so excited for this food that I literally can't process thoughts right now. Honestly, same. I'm, I'm like really, really excited. Yeah, this is going to be really right, good. So Ezra is no longer allowed to flip on the grill. Um, you see that? That's, that's what happens. He busted a hole in the tinfoil. Um, <laughs> yeah, no more. Not allowed anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, it's all good. It's not leaking too much. Um, it's going to be good. Excited. Don't vlog this embarrassment. <laughs> he is um, having to rewrap his potatoes. While they're on the freaking... While they're on the grill because he... um. I put a hole in it. And, put a uh, hole in it. I didn't wrap them enough times. So no. as soon as we flipped it... The tinfoil so just like shredded. You want, here. You want to... 
Hold this. Yeah, basically I didn't wrap it enough, so as soon as we flipped it, it kind of just unwrapped itself. So yeah, now we're uh, in the process of putting more foil on. Do we need to which is it very more difficult. On the other side? Probably. Yeah, actually, what we need to do. very difficult when it's already on the grill. We could take it off the grill to do this, but no, we're not that smart. Right, ready? Oh, you're a genius or a dingus. I can't tell. Ah, that's hot. Yeah, no dip, Sherlock. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you should have done it the other way. Oh, what other way? Like flipped it this way, so you're wrapping it. Roll it this way? Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll keep it tossed. This is our asparagus. That looks amazing. We just took it off the grill. That thing is steaming. Mm. Steaming hot. That's going to be so good. Um, whew, I'm actually, I'm so excited. Excited, mm. yeah. So we should throw it on top of the grill just so it stays warm while the rest of the stuff yeah, cooks. That's fine. Let's give it a second. <laughs> As if you needed more proof that we're struggling today. I broke a plate. It happens. Whatever. Yeah, he, he broke a plate. Oh well. All right, so we used just a little bit of tin foil. Oh, um, you're dripping grease everywhere uh, too. Here, take this then. <laughs> Trash can! Yeah, that's, that's just a little bit. It's a lot of oil. It's the price you pay. We'll show you the food in a second. It, oh, it's, it's gonna the be grand reveal. Right, so we made some barbecue. Uh, I mean, what, it, what would you call? What do you say it is? Sweet barbecue chicken. Sweet. I mean, but it's spicy a little bit too. It's, it's <sighs> good. Like spicy but um, sweet. Mm. Asparagus and some grilled potatoes. Grilled potatoes. Grilled with, potatoes. Uh, Onions and green peppers. Oh my gosh, look at that. Just. That is uh, heavenly. We are like struggling to not just like start shoving this in our mouths right now. But here, it's time to eat. Wow. All right, great food, great workout, great day. Right? See you tomorrow. Yep, see you all tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's all, honestly all it is. Everybody have a great day. Like, subscribe. See you back here tomorrow. Facts. <laughs>